across the BBC. Now on BBC One Scotland, the BBC News at six o'clock with Hugh Edwards in Glasgow and Clive Myrie in London and reporting Scotland with Laura Miller at COP26 and Laura Goodwin in the studio. Today at six, we're in Glasgow where the climate summit has opened with a barrage of warnings about the cost of failure. More than 100 world leaders swept into Glasgow amid massive security and the biggest summit ever hosted in the UK. Boris Johnson told fellow leaders he wanted countries to end the use of coal, to phase out petrol engines and to reverse deforestation. The longer we fail to act, the worse it gets and the higher the price when we are eventually forced by catastrophe to act. If you're here today, you know what climate change is doing to us. You don't need my pain or my tears to know that we're in a crisis. Enough of burning and drilling and mining our way deeper. We are digging our own graves. And we'll be looking at the challenge ahead for the hundreds of negotiators here in Glasgow searching for consensus. Also on the programme, the driver of one of two trains involved in a collision near Salisbury suffers life-changing injuries. Several others were hurt. You're in the black and you're just like looking around seeing if everyone's okay and you can't just help but feel like, oh my God, what's going to happen? What's going to happen next? The chief executive of Barclays resigns after an inquiry into links with the sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Helps it away. And Jos Butler's big hitting makes it four wins out of four for England at the T20 World Cup. And on Reporting Scotland at 6.30, the decisions taken here in Glasgow over the next fortnight could change how the world confronts climate change. As world leaders meet protesters assembled throughout the city and beyond to make their voices heard. Good evening from Glasgow, where world leaders have attended the opening ceremony of the Global Climate Summit. Those present are charged with taking momentous decisions to save the planet from a climate disaster. They heard a series of powerful appeals for action and warnings of the very high cost of failure. And this COP26 conference is widely seen as the last chance to agree the measures that are needed. Boris Johnson, who's hosting the summit, said humanity had long since run down the clock on climate change and he said it was now one minute to midnight. The Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley, warned that following a path of greed and selfishness would lead to destruction. And the UN chief, Antonio Guterres, said that countries were digging their own graves by failing to act on climate change. Among the goals being discussed are ending the use of coal, phasing out petrol-powered cars, and reversing the process of deforestation. Our first report on events in Glasgow is by our political editor, Laura Kinsberg. 